The evidence was more solid than I originally thought, but still. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. My girlfriend's best friend has a boyfriend that is now an ex-boyfriend. I didn't know that they broke up, and I never really talked to the guy, but he reached out to me and tried to manipulate me into thinking my girlfriend was cheating on me. How did he do this? In a number of ways. First of all, he shared a well-crafted fake screenshot of a conversation with his girlfriend in which she basically says, my girlfriend, has an open relationship with, me, which is not true, we do not have an open relationship. He presented this information in a way that was like hey I didn't know you had an open relationship. In the same screenshot conversation, she straight up says that my girlfriend has been sleeping with another guy for a while now. After that, he went on to explain that his girlfriend was cheating on him with other guys and he wanted to warn me that my girlfriend is probably doing the same thing. This is the part where I become the villain. For some stupid fucking reason, I believed him. I accused my girlfriend of cheating and I showed her the screenshot. Almost immediately I knew I was an idiot. The screenshot was fake, I was wrong, and I can't believe I let over a year's worth of trust just completely fall by the wayside. I apologized and told her I can't believe I believed him and that I was so sorry for accusing her of cheating. She was very hurt by my accusation. As she has the right to be. She thinks that our relationship will now just be an endless cycle of me thinking that she is cheating on me. I disagreed. But obviously there are some underlying trust issues with me that I need to work out. She wants some space to think about the future of our relationship. I really love her immensely, and I recognize that I was a complete idiot for falling for this manipulation and just forgetting about the trust we've been building for over a year. My girlfriend's best friend's ex managed to manipulate me into thinking that my girlfriend was cheating on me, and it might have ruined our relationship for good. Is there any recovery from this? Is there anything I can do to help recover? If she decides to give it another chance, how can I help rebuild the trust that I damaged? Eventually, I have learned that the evidence that was given to me, by her best friends on again off again X, was real. The conversation really did happen, and her best friend really did say that we are in an open relationship and that she is sleeping with other guys. I know it's real because I saw a video of the ex scrolling through the conversation. It's important to note that the conversation was during one of their many breakups, and it's believable that she was lying in order to make her own actions at the time look better. I was willing to believe this. Meanwhile, we took some space. I messaged her about four days into the space as a check-in, to let her know I still cared and wanted to work it out and to please let me know if she wanted to continue thinking. She read the message but didn't respond. I then waited another two days and sent her a full apology for the way I approached her with the information. I told her I should have come to her as her partner and treated this like an obstacle for both of us to overcome, not something for me to put on her. Given our relationship has always had good communication, this felt like it was the silent treatment to me. I felt abandoned, confused, and a lack of empathy on her part for how I was feeling. I felt like I was in limbo, and the pain was too much for me to suffer through for seven days. I have never been a suspicious boyfriend. I have never stalked her socials or tried to pry into her private life with her friends. If something happened that made me feel uneasy, I always brought it up with her and we resolved things happily and were stronger for it, and she did the same with me. I never asked to be given evidence of her cheating, I didn't seek it out, and yes I reacted strongly but I was still reasonable and I even apologized during the argument about how heated I was. So one week after our argument, after she still refused to speak with me, I sent her a message saying that I couldn't be in a relationship where we don't communicate. I told her how this entire thing made me feel and ended it. Now I feel angry and guilty and depressed, but as hard as those feelings are they aren't anywhere near as painful as being in limbo. The evidence was more solid than I originally thought, but I still believed her. In spite of that, the silence and refusal to communicate further about it has led me to break up with her because I couldn't last any longer. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Hey buddy. I'm 96% sure your girlfriend cheated on you. Number 1, when you saw the screenshots you didn't overreact. You reacted how anyone would react and she made you feel guilty for accusing her. Classic move, she just turned the tables on you to get the heat off of herself. Number 2, why would his ex lie to him about that to make herself look better? It doesn't make sense. That wouldn't help her case, if anything it would make her look worse. And number 3, she has been sleeping around and now that you caught her she is gonna use your accusation as grounds for a breakup so that she doesn't have to feel guilty about what she has been doing to you. Sorry man. I'm really sorry dude. 
Bright side, you sound mature and reasonable in your approaches, and you did everything you could have. You seem like a great guy, hope you find someone better than your ex was. Here's the second story. Things moved super fast, which obviously made me. We first met on Jan 1st and have been inseparable ever since. Things moved super fast, maybe too fast. But we fell in love, and we made things official a month ago. She constantly tells me how much she loves me, is super affectionate, does nice things for me, and overall is a model girlfriend. Last night she went wine tasting with people from her work. Then they went to a bar. She texted me that she was drunk and a guy was flirting with her pretty hard. Then she texted me that he was being pretty inviting. Which obviously made me feel weird. Then she texted me absolute gibberish. Then this morning she texted me that she needed to talk to me, which concerned me obviously. She said right away that she blacked out and had sex with another guy and doesn't remember anything. I hung up on her. She's been texting me telling me how sorry she is. That she didn't know what happened. And that she's never cheated on anyone before, which I believe. Here is the third story. Her confession caught me off guard and I don't know what to do. She came to my work during my lunch hour and started crying asking for forgiveness. She said it was on Sunday night. She goes to the gym on Sundays. She said a co-worker of hers, assistant manager, texted her, asking if she was at the gym because he lives nearby. She said yes, so he goes over. Walks in they chat then he tells her they should go outside to talk. They get in his car. She said they only kissed and touched for 10 seconds and that she finally stopped him and told him to leave. Today is Tuesday and she's been complaining every day since Sunday that she's afraid of getting a disease cause she touched a dirty toilet in a public restroom and this morning went to the doctor to be tested for VD. So finally after her doctor's appointment she tells me she was worried because she was with this guy. She promises she'll never do it again emphasizing that they never had sex. Even went to the extreme of calling her boss and quitting. I'd quit to do. This has caught me way off guard. I'm a very attentive husband. I give her lots of love and attention, compliments, gifts, etc. Hell I'm even helping her raise her kid. I feel so betrayed. I want to forgive her but don't know if I can or should even trust her. Her quitting her job only puts more pressure on me to provide as if it wasn't hard enough. The sleazeball she was with cheats on his wife all the time with many women, which is gross and disgusts me thinking that my wife may have had sex with no protection. I've never been in this situation and to make matters worse I can't just leave my wife. I have no living relatives within a 200 mile radius, and we share friends so I can't go over to a friend's house either. This came at a very bad time for me. Any advice is appreciated. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.